Hi folks and welcome to another edition of My Veg Garden. Today is Monday the 8th of June. Um, it's been lovely over the last few days in the UK. Um, I don't know whereabouts other people are who are watching my videos, but it's been really lovely. Drew a storm in probably the next hour or so, so I thought I'd quickly show a video um, of what I've been up to over the weekend. So follow me and I'll show you what I've been up to. As usual, I normally start inside the, um, the shed. Um, there's really not that much happening. I tried to get some more courgettes to to grow. Uh, they weren't growing in compost. I've tried to pre-chit them or some sort of thing, but just there was not that happening. So time's getting on, so I might just have to go. Oh, I'll forget that. So there's nothing else in there at all inside the the grow cabinet. So I'll soon be turning the last little sight lights off. And that'll be them. What you'll notice is I've had a bit of a construction because you'll know sorry hopefully i'm not making y'all dizzy by going round in circles that's what i had before and these are big tidy out so that's what i had um and what i had on the other side was just some brackets that held a thin shelf up onto it but i really needed to have something more and more sturdy to, to store a lot of stuff so as you can see it looks far i've got a lot more stuff to hidden in the back there you know i've got my, my little uh tiller electric i've got electric tiller hidden in there as well i've got the ladders i've got a whole load of wood uh all sorts of stuff so i've managed to get that just plunked away into there out of the road so as you can see you know i've got pots and everything that got a lot better stuff is here to be actually do stuff as well this will probably be easier this side to actually put pot stuff on and that because it's um, what is it i reckon it must be about the, those bits of wood here were a, a meter in height plus an extra four centimeters for for that and then the board the board i got from b and q um a local b and q got them to cut the width as well because there's no way that was an eight by four sheet there was no way i was getting it in my car so i got them to cut it um down to the right size for me and i've just as you can see i've cut little notches out for it to fit in and what i did find was the weight of the last one because it was only on these tight brackets here it was actually pulling the the boards were actually bending down like that so it was also pulling on the shed so what i did was, when i put this board on i realized there was a gap down this end because of actually the pull of it so what i managed to do was as i did that i pushed it hard against so when i screwed it down the left hand corner just to make sure that i get as much as possible in uh, sorry get the, the straightness of the, the shed back as much as possible to sort of print it's a bit more rigid again if you're doing that so i'd say not much sorry about that prattling on about me woodworking it's not the best that but it does as you can see it ain't going anywhere so please with that right i'll just show you what's going on i'll do it say it might be a little bit windy and i'm really sorry about that but we'll try and make it quick as possible outside and then i'll go inside the, the greenhouse so here we go folks and here is my Parsnips, and as you can see there, they seem to be progressing nicely. Just leave them like that. I'm not going to do anything to them. Just let them grow. The carrots in there, they seem to be going nicely. Uh, rhubarb, sadly, um, has suffered really badly from... I had to give them a spray because the aphids were attacking them. So, that's really gone really downhill. That's my... Um, that's my sweets so they really seem to be going well at the moment so just leave them garlic oh. right <laughs> these seem to be really going for it i don't know how good they are or anything but really pleased that's probably the best i've ever had we'll see how well they go and see if we can get them to turn into cloves and that so i don't know when we know they're ready but so i need to have a little read up on that um peas here as you can see heading towards starting to cling on to the um the mess of the chicken mesh chicken wire put there so that's cool we'll just leave that hopefully in another few weeks we'll start getting pods growing we'll get some some lovely good peas out of it the long carrots are here what i felt i had to do was put some more compost in the reason why is it was like you can see the top of the carrot 
until about that much of the top of the carrot sticking out. So what I've done is I've actually brought compost up to try and cover that. So I've done that. Beetroot going okay, nothing, nothing special. Uh, so we'll just it seems to be progressing. Don't know if there's anything under the moment. Oh, you can see if I can just you can see the root that will turn into the the ball ball of the beetroot is there. That's fine. Mums too, doing well as well. Just letting that planted it a lot quicker than that sooner than the the peas I planted out. So hopefully these will just start to head towards the the mesh and start climbing onto it. Potatoes, you can see how high they are. What are they about? On the ground they're about four foot, four and a half foot. So hopefully I don't know whether that'll be a, I'll have to crop them before I go on holiday or we can wait till I come back. Uh, oh just on the two spit there, spits are in so I think it must be coming. Uh, in here you know about my um, spring onions. Take the advice from people was about my leek so I don't know if you can see them, I've planted them all in there. I've not had a downpour so what I did was made the hole with that bit there. Oh, I've got a little pigeon, see? Making, they're making nests at the moment. Um, sorry, diversion there. Uh, so in here we've got the, the leeks planted out hole, put the leeks straight in it and then poured water into the hole. Don't spray it, is what I got told many years ago. Just fill the hole with water, let the compost come down and when it rains gradually the compost will fall down and fill the hole up. So that's what I've done. So we'll leave them like so. Shallots have been planted out here. So this is my shallots. So you can see these are banana shallots. So you can. So we'll see how they progress. Everything else seems to be going okay. These are the red onions. Some of them seem to be bulbing up. If you look there, see. They seem to be bulbing up quite nicely. You know, and, and in there, you can see. Uh, the lettuce, you can see. Yeah, I think I showed you in my last video the rabbit had eat, started to eat them. Uh, but they're starting to recover a bit, so happy enough with that. Uh, brown onions, they're still the same, starting to bulb up, so we'll leave them at the moment. That's the, this was the other lot of carrots. They should have been miles ahead, I thought they would be. But we'll leave them, leave them in there and see how they go. I don't know whether we might actually get some blueberries. I think I've said this before, but I think this was the last year I was going to try it. If you look here, that's the first time we've had that. It's more just sort of like flat. Let me show you. Um, like that, more often than not. Whereas these ones, this time, and that's, I think that's a newer one of the two. So this actually might be truly a uh, cell phone because this is the original one and it's doesn't, it's meant to, this doesn't seem to produce any fruit. So we might actually might, just look at the end of there as well. So we might get some fruit off it. Mm. Let me take you inside. Shed. Uh, sorry, greenhouse, I should say. Everything seems to be going okay inside the greenhouse at the moment. Tomatoes. Um, you know, thanks for the advice that people said about them. That trying to always go for the get towards the light. So I think it just is just one of those things. I've tried to keep keep them straight as possible with plenty of of ties. Uh, what are we on? How many trusses are we on at the moment? Let's just have a little check. Oh, head down, down. Here we go. Where's the first truss? Oh, sorry, folks. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, we're still on about four trusses, I think. Let's just check. So we've got one truss there, as you can see, with, as you can see, if I put that there. Oh, tomatoes. Yeah, so one, two, three. Uh, we're about to get onto our fifth truss on on this one. So we're doing well. Quite happy with that. Um, cucumbers still in there. I need to get them planted into the pots because the pots have, if you look at the pots here, they've really dried out now. Um, and I'm going to be really careful how I water them this time. I want to get them planted in this time. Sorry, this week at some point. That's my um, pots of basil. Just leaving them. Some more lettuce in those pots um, you can see this label is for my broccoli so these are purple sprouting broccoli so I'm just leaving them keeping them in here keeping them moist that 
and this is my winter cabbage. So goes four and four, so we're just letting them grow. This is my, as you can see, as I sort of said, so these is my sweet peppers, sweet candle, as you can see, the first sort of fruits are starting to appear. So that's really all inside the greenhouse. The outdoor tomatoes are starting to produce flowers as well. Yeah, cat candid alistair, isn't it? Cat candid alistair. So, if alistair doesn't knock off, as you can see, the fruit, the fruits are just starting there. Yeah, on those ones, these ones, really, really slow. <laughs> Look at these. There's all sorts of things happening with these. I need to try and see curly leaves. I've never seen the leaves curl quite as much as that. So, so they're going okay. Uh, the only other thing you've shown you with uh, strawberries, whole lot, lots of strawberries. And um, I'll show you. As you can see in the background, nice bee well, pollinating in that. So, a whole load of strawberries on there. Right, folks, um, let's just get back, back in out of the wind. I'm really sorry if it's been really difficult be tearing me with the wind. Right, folks, okay, that's just that an update of what I'm doing. I just find it easier to give you an update after I've done it rather than show you because it's only me and myself so doing it. So it's really difficult to do any videos of me actually doing things. Uh, so, right, folks. Thanks very much for watching, I'm not going to prattle on this time because I've got other things I need to, to get, get on with. Um, I really appreciate you watching, uh, commenting, liking, um, uh, subscribing. Um, thanks for watching folks, hope you're having a really good weekend and hopefully the weather stays a bit better for us for this week as well, despite the rain due today. Um, uh, thanks very much for watching folks and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye just now.